Hey everyone, Pupsker here. Today in Warframe, I want to go over how to get all of the open world resources for the Duveri Paradox, just generally all the resources for everyone. So you can build all the weapons, buy all the items. It's so you can buy everything in Akrathis, like all of everything in here. It's, yeah. You know, it isn't actually that bad, but a lot of the open world resources are stuck and set to very specific areas in the open world. So that's a little annoying. But luckily, people online on Reddit, on just any website, have our back for sure. Because that's right. Someone already, very instantly I should say, made a general resource map on where to farm all of the open resource, open world resources. So yeah, shout out to uh, Su Suicidal Thoughts. Great name, great Reddit name. They made this little uh, picture quickly. If anyone wants to, I don't know, copy, s screenshot it, go for it, right? It shows that in this area, you can get Dracroot, and down here, you can get Yo Shrub. Over here, you can get Kovnik and Dracroot. Over here, you can get Kovnik, over here, you can get Kovnik. In this little area, near all the water, you can get Conala. And only over here, in the amphitheater, can you get Evany. Other than that, everything else is just around. Like, Lamentis is killed off Dax. Fang and Ariats, like Ma Fang, you get them while fishing. Tasoma Extract, you'll pick up in caves. Agristone is just everywhere, you get it very easily. Saga and Pearl is everywhere, pretty much near buildings in little resource caches, kind of. It's everywhere, right? And the Sylph Sella is also everywhere. It's like the uh, very bright uh, light plant. So these are all of the open world resources that you can just go around and farm stuff. You can get Evany from Ark Harbor as well. Okay, yeah, that's cool. So just go around to some of the floating places, get Evany like that, right? It's not a perfect map, but it includes most things there. So screenshot that if you need it. If not, you know, that's fine, but it's there if you need it. Thank you, suicidal thoughts on the Warframe Reddit. And then someone down below clarifies as well, you can get Rune Marrow in the Undercroft slash the circuit very easily, just run around breaking things in the ground and get it. And Pathos Clamps are from the Aura Worm. You get 10 per regular fight, 15 per steel path fight. And in general, you just get drops and loot and resources from running around in the open world and just running anything, right? Because the resources drop on uh, just like mission unlock, right? So we're gonna run around in the Duferi experience solo quickly, and we're gonna try and pick up some resources. I do believe you can also run the Lone Story if you're only looking for open world resources, but you'd probably wanna run the Duferi experience just so you can grab some decrees a little faster. And then the second you grab all of the resources you want, remember to get a decree before you leave because when you get a decree is how it like uh saves your session of resources when you leave or go and kill the aura worm whichever you want always pick your random decrees but we'll just go around and i'll show you just how to get some of those sweet sweet open world resources i hate how slow the uh general drifter is oh hey it's your boy stalker the best brand new warframe in the game everyone's favorite it's Stalker. So what you want to do is ideally unlock rank, I think four, maybe five in riding. Now you can see on your mini map where there are resources everywhere, right? So I can just walk around and I see resource, right? Resource cache gave me Agarstone, Sagan Pearl. It's around the map in general, right? There's a resource cache over here. Destroy that. Where are you? There it is. And that gives me Agristone, Sagan Pearl, right? Good stuff, good stuff. I can also fast teleport myself, so it makes my life a little easier. A lot of the resources that are more unique, you'll find out here, like, oh, there's the Kovnik plant. You can easily just shoot it with your gun. There's another Kovnik plant. And that's how you just collect it, right? So you'll want to just run around like this, quickly get a higher rank intrinsic for your horse. So as you can see, I'm always looking on the mini map and now I can see like resource caches. It's very easy to farm all of the plants even without 
uh, having the higher rank intrinsic because you can just fly around. Sometimes you can uh, point them out better, sometimes you can't. When it's a little darker, a little drearier, it's easier to point them out, but they do always have like kind of that blue shimmer of resources, right? They have a blue shimmer just because they're a resource. They give off a light, a color, you know, whatever you feel like calling it. So good to know. This area is the amphitheater. You can very easily get uh, the Eveny resource here. There's a lot of goats, very nice goats. And this is what uh, Sun Sylph looks like. It gives you like the Sylph sign, the Sylph Sella, sorry, right? This is what the Drac root looks like. You can also get Drac root on the amphitheater, it looks like. You can get a lot of resources all around. That's why I'm saying like, don't necessarily sweat it too hard. This is one of those owl signs. Right, you can get some Agra formation that drops Agra stone over here. That is the Eveny plant, the one we are going here for, right? It's a little twirly. It looks pretty cool. We can see more Eveny over here. All the resources just pop up in our top left anyways, right? So that's how you get Eveny. That's one of the more other annoying ones. We'll go over here to like Lunaro Court to get the Conala because that is the other annoying resource to get. And then we'll quickly go over the, like, uh, Yo Shrub. So, the Conala is always around the water stuff here. It's in these cool little looking uh, formations. I'm just seeing if I can find any here. Is there one under here? No, none that I can see, right? There's just a lot of little resources. Uh, that's not where it is. It's usually under the cliffs. It's the uh, Conala Sprout. So they're little water formations, break that, you get the Conala Sprout. They're one of the, like, I guess harder to see resources a little bit, but, you know, it depends who you're talking to. There's some more Agra Stone, that shit just spawns everywhere, more Agra Stone. Do we need Conala Sprout here? There we go, another Conala Sprout, so that's how the Conala Sprout looks. That's how that works. Not too hard to farm. Just remember to go near the little water formations here. They might be in other spots, like maybe around the water here as well. And uh, yeah, but I wouldn't sweat it too hard. The last thing that we're kind of looking for is the little uh, yo shrub over in this general area here. So it just kind of spawns around here. Let's see if we can find one. There we go. They look like little uh, jellyfish, as you can see, right? Like. That looks like a jellyfish. You just quickly run around this area up and down, and if you're on your horse, you'll just be able to ping it out, right? You'll be able to get that resource ping right under the Chamber of Muses area. That's where all the shrubs are. You just fly around, make it a little easier. They're still a little harder to find. That's why I wanted to go over these ones specifically compared to like the other ones. Uh, I think there's one right here. There we go, there's a little shrub. I think uh, the other one was popping up around here. Is it right here? Oh, that's a drac root or agrostone. Agrostone pops up everywhere, right? Here's another Sagan well, because it's like right near a building. We have a sun sylph right there. And then we have another one right here for the Yao shrub. So that's the generals for all of the farming. Again, I was just using this general open world map made by uh, Suicidal Thoughts on Reddit. So again, shout out to them. But that is how you pretty much get all of the resources in the open world and all of the non, just all the Duveri Paradox resources, essentially. So hope it helped. Sub, like, do a backflip if it did. Check out any of my random social medias, join Twitter. YouTube, you know, you know how it is. You can also use Epic Game Store creator code Pupsker if you use the Epic Game Store or ever buy anything there. Thank you, thank you, appreciate it. Cheers, cheers.